que para que bien. Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Hello. Winery. Ay, apareció Félix. Ella desaparecido, Félix. Hey, guys. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, Felix is back. Enrique, are you okay? Are you feeling better? Oh, yeah, there's a party. Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> He's back. So you see, your classmate missed you. <laughs> so much guys. Friday, T G I F, right? Uh, I see Gabby's here. I see. Him. Um, Helen's here. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Is everything good? We have one expression in English um, that is T G I F. So T G I F. I'm going to write it in the chat, right? So T G I F is like thanks. Uh, thank God it's Friday, right? Uh, or what we normally say like por fin llegó el viernes, so you can just say. TGIF guys, how was your Friday? Did you have a good Friday? Is it okay? Was it good? Are you ready for the weekend? Are you working on the weekend? Guys, who works on the weekend? Who is working tomorrow? Enrique, are you going to work on Saturday, Sunday? Gabby, are you, uh, are you going to work? For uh, tomorrow and Sunday too. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Okay. So you're going to work. Yeah. Oh, yes. when is your day off? Hi, Arnaldo. Good evening. For this weekend, I don't have Why? day off. <laughs> For the whole week. Why? In in this week, 
only. Oh, o sea, es, okay. o sea, hoy tenemos mucho trabajo, entonces tenemos que trabajar el, el fin okay. de semana. But that is like OT or something like that. Yes, OT. But, okay. Oh, okay. Wow, but that sounds tough. Hi, Belen, good evening. Thank you for good joining. Yeah. Hello, Miss. Guy, well, wow, so the best of luck, Enrique. <laughs> and I just hope your weekend goes pretty fast. Guys, what about the rest of you? Are you working tomorrow? Are you working on Sunday, so Saturday, Sunday, both days? In my case, no teacher, I don't work uh, both days. And um, today I didn't work too because uh, I took a one day of my vacation, so. Wow, that's amazing that you can I do it. it. <laughs> okay, oh, Arnoldo, I'm sorry about it, okay. Okay, no worries, Arnoldo, it's okay, I get it. So I hope next week, I'm going to be asking you a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Arnoldo. I hope everything goes well. Gabi, you're at home. I'm happy to see you. Hi, good evening. Hello. Um, how were like your classes? Everything good? Uh really tired because I finished, I already finished my classes, but I'm uh -huh. still like saving the semester. So I didn't sleep until 6 30 a.m no yeah making a wow. video to save the semester but unfortunately uh the teacher has already um revisar my video and uh -huh. she gave me a six <laughs> oh. uh, yes i passed that the the, the um la, the, the subject, subject. Uh -huh. pero así de panzazo <laughs> okay well but but the good thing is that you know so it was worth it right oh wow but congrats because i know do you study at us no um still so, well i finished my classes because i'm doing just uh clinic stuff okay not receiving online subjects or um todavía teóricas ya no ya termino todo lo teórico oh just just clinic Oh, okay. Well, the good thing is that, you know, uh, it's not like regular subjects then. So one subject doesn't interfere like with the three, four, six, seven subjects that, okay, that the next opens. That is a good thing. That is a really good thing. Okay. Well, nice, nice for you. And the good thing is that, you know, you passed it. You eyes that, so that is okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it was worth it. Thank you so much for joining. I know you must be really tired, but it's the, on the last class for this week, right? Um, so guys, uh, let me see who else uh, has joined. Judy, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Already, guys. So it's super nice to see you. And uh, let's get started with the activities we have for the day. Uh, we are going to work with questions today. We're going to practice asking questions, making questions, a little bit of reading and some vocabulary too. So there was a homework assignment for today, right? That was practice with the five objects from yesterday and try to use furthermore, try to use in addition, try to use and, try to use also in order to talk about some characteristics of products. But let's get started without further ado. And I have some questions for you. Um, so uh, over here, guys, I have some questions and uh, I want you to give me what your answer is. So I want you to select one of the questions, uh, one of the options we have over here. Margarita, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. So guys, um, hello. Question number one, guys would you rather so would you rather you have two and you need to make a choice you need to choose one would you rather have money or have uh, i'm sorry would you rather have more time or more money guys choose one more time or more money i prefer more time teacher why it's i don't know um Maybe it's something very, um, maybe not conformista, but it's okay. like, I know how much I, uh, I can live with. So I don't, I don't think so much in that. Okay. Uh, if, if I very well, 
it does incur the money I, I, I have. So it's like very minimalista pensamiento, pero I prefer the time. Okay, okay, very nice. So time. Wow, very interesting choice. Guys, what would you select and why? More time or more money and why? Give us your opinion, guys. Tell us. Hi, Ruben. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, Ruben, uh, you are not an oyente. <laughs> so you can delete the part that says oyente. So, you know, so you can um, appear right there. Thank you, Helen. No worries. Okay, guys. So, uh, Judy, what would you select? Would you rather have more time or more money? What is your choice, girl? In, Why, Ricardo? In the, what, in the uh -huh. first. Yes, number one. Would you rather have more time or more money? What is your choice? More money. Okay, why more money? Why? If, um, because is necessary. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, yes, but <laughs> okay. So if it is a choice, all right. So more money, Enrique. More time or more money? What would you go for? Hi, Delmi. Good evening. I don't know. The, for me, it depends for what. Uh, no, no sé. Depende de qué o para qué. Okay, but in general, like in general, so. Um, so would you like, imagine that you have, some people say time is not enough, you know, you have a lot of things to do, so you would like to, I don't know, have more time to do activities or to live longer, so uh, would you rather have more time or more money, if you have to choose? Mm, more time. More time, okay, okay. Wow, guys, I thought you would say more money. <laughs> I would have, I would rather have more money, you know, rather than time. All right, let's go for number two. Would you rather, remember that would you rather, guys, is like, cual deciden, cual escogen. So would you rather be able to sing beautifully or speak fluently another language or a chosen language? Guys, what would be your choice? singing or speak another language fluently? I prefer to speak fluently, teacher. Okay, so speak language. fluently, all right. Speak fluently too. Speak fluently, okay. Guys and the rest, singing? Speak fluently. speak fluently, oh my God. <laughs> I would rather sing beautifully, you know? I, I, I have always would like to sing I have always, um, you know, thought about singing. So yeah, I, I would rather sing beautifully. Guys, what about the rest of you? Gabby, speak fluently or sing beautifully. Hi, good evening. Angelica, good evening too. Um, probably sing beautifully because I could be famous. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, be, I speak like fluently in another language. I can, I think I can do it if I propose myself, if mm. I do the best. So, but singing, I'm not really good at that. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. Even if I took classes, I will, I would never be a good singer. Same Sorry here, Dina, same here. Uh, when I was a little girl, I wanted to sing like Selena Quintanilla, you know, like Selena, but guys, I'm terrible at that. <laughs> So I'm not good at that. Uh, uh, so what about next one, guys? Would you rather, number three, would you rather be the world's fastest runner or uh, would you rather be or own the world's fastest car? If you had to choose, what would you prefer? To run really fast or to have a car that is the fastest? <laughs> I prefer the first one, teacher. Okay. The, uh, the world's fastest 
runner. The, okay, so the fastest runner. Okay, the fastest runner. Also, yeah. What about the rest of you guys? So the fastest cars, I don't know, last time I think Ricardo mentioned, well, you guys mentioned like Ferrari, Ducati, and all those famous uh, brands. So yeah, would you rather be the fastest runner or have the fastest car? Tell me, the fastest runner oh or the fastest car? Uh, Ricardo, the fastest runner or the fastest car? Faster corner. Uh, the first, faster runner. El corredor más rápido, the fastest yeah. runner. Uh, uh -huh, yes. Uh, okay, okay. So the fastest runner. Nice, that sounds good. In, in my case, um, the faster runner. Fastest runner. Oh, okay, guys, interesting. And I would like to have the fastest car. <laughs> or the, yeah, the fastest car sounds good to me. Wow, very different choices. Okay, next one. Would you be able to fly or swim without needing to hold your breath? Okay, guys, would you rather be able to fly? Would you like to fly? Or would you like to swim, yes. right? Yes. Which, Without yes. holding Which your breath. Line. Swim. Which you like, which you like, swim. Which you like. Would you rather be able to fly or swim? So fly or swim, guys. Well, yes. yeah. Swim. Without any swimming. Swim. swim. Oh well. my God. For everybody. Why? Why swimming, guys? Would you like? No teacher for me. Sorry, sorry. I can swim already, so maybe it would be very awesome. But it says here without needing to hold your breath, right? So like like fish, for example. Yeah, yeah. So, uh -huh. so no necesitan contener el aliento, right? A mermaid. Oh my God, guys! Do you know the meaning? The meaning of mermaid? What do you know what is a mermaid? Favorite with. Okay, so a mermaid, guys, in the chat, it's like like Ariel. Have you ever seen the Little Mermaid, the movie? Yay! Are you familiar with the Little Mermaid? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I uh, like like fish, like crabs, like SpongeBob, <laughs> so they can live in the water, right? Okay. So, guys, I would like to uh, I would choose fly because I think that is amazing to be over, you know, the the uh, and to see everything from above. I don't know. I would like to I would pick fly. Um, what about the rest of you guys? So what would you pick? Francisco, fly or swim? What would you rather choose? What would you rather take? Um, it is dreaming many times that I can fly. Oh, okay. So flying. Me too. I don't know why, you know. Hasta tiro el piecito porque me voy cayendo. Guys, if that has happened to you, that is super crazy. Okay, okay. What do we? What do you like? Let's go well, with number five. So, well, would you rather? Faster. Would you rather go to the cinema or watch a concert? So, guys, watch a concert. Watch a concert. Cinema. Mm -hmm. It's so because I never, I, I never visited a, a, a concert in oh. You've yeah. never been to a concert? No. Me neither. Mm -hmm. It would be a nice experience, I think. Oh, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? Concert or the movie? What would you take? Movie. Movie. Okay. Really? You're not much into concert, guys. Enrique, no concerts. Do you? You don't like concerts, do you? Yes, oh, I like, no. but I prefer the the movie too. You? Oh, you prefer the movies? Wow, very interesting, guys. And the rest, concert or movie? I prefer movies? to go to the movies. Movies too, tell me why? Yes. Why tell me? 
Es que eso es lo que le decía la, la, la... Tranquilo. It's more quiet. It's okay. Quiet, quiet. Oh, very interesting. So the movie is, it is more quiet. Wow. Okay. Guys, nobody will go for cancer. Hi, Kenya. Good evening, Rafael. Thank you for joining. Andrea. No, no, no. Hi. What would you take, Andrea? Concert or movie? Depends of the singer. Oh, for example? Um, a concert of electronic music. Okay. I was um, this year. Uh -huh. Yo fui. I went. I went at the concert of Martin Garrix. Martin Garrix. Oh, no. Oh, my it's God. It's a DJ. Wow. Okay. So Was it good? Yes. Awesome. Wow. It sounds amazing. I'm not much into electronic, but he is a really good DJ. All right. Yes. Really the, nice. the environment was really uh, crazy cool. I imagine yes. like everybody like jumping dancing wow yes. okay. some some people are uh, was uh andaban con sus hijos with o children sea, habían, yes oh nice yes. so adults and children or teenagers Eh, un poquito de los dos. Ok, so adults and teenagers, or adults and children, or Pero teenagers lo que me, and children. Lo, lo que me impresionó fue de que andaban bastante mamás con niños chiquitos. Oh, what? Sí. <laughs> ok. Oh, ok, in a concert. Wow, well, and the music is really loud. Ok, ok. So, if it is electronic, eh, concert, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What would you take, cinema or a concert? Rafael, cinema or concert? Um, concert. Concert, okay, yes. but with whom? With uh, which artist or which singer? Um, I like... Uh... I like different uh, songs mm -hmm. and different uh, styles. Mm -hmm. um, I like uh, artists, for example, Mana. Oh, okay. <laughs> Electronica. Oh, okay. Like. Sounds nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, so talk, I don't like the cinema, guys. I prefer Netflix. <laughs> so I'm super <laughs> honest with this. And I have never been to a concert, but I would go if it is Imagine Dragons, uh, Linkin Park, or Queen, probably, and that's it. So I'm you like crazy. You have to go fan. to Republic, oh, uh, Who? You have to go to Republic. Probably oh, has the uh, has really good tributes. I have heard that they have like some singers, some bands. Um, I went to Mago de Oz a couple of Mago times. Yeah. Yeah. And that was okay, okay. But, but because of the quarantine, I don't go anymore. Ricardo? Yeah. What do you rather model? Mondel. Oh, but Ricardo, you said the cinema for you, right? Cinema. You prefer cinema yes. rather than concerts. You like your part. <laughs> so, prefer ir al cinema, right? You prefer to go yeah. to the cinema. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Or it depends on the movie, right, guys? That's movie another thing. All Probably right, guys. No, movie ticket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can buy some movie tickets there. Okay, guys, we're going to practice a little bit of questioning here. So this is one of the ways we ask questions, would you rather, right? That is to ask. So, and especially when we have two choices, would you rather take this or take this? Now we're going to practice the common questions that we had previously. 
right? That are um, a little bit of, give me one second, a little bit of, hold on. Hold on, my computer got frozen there. Teacher, yes. teacher. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Uh, when the people say, uh, what will you pick? It's another way to say it. Yes, or, of course. For context? No, no, no. Uh, the question is exactly the same. What would you pick? But the thing is that what would you pick is super general. And this one, teacher. would you rather? You already give the two options. Yes, Ricardo. Eh, este, el compañero Carlos tiene un fallecido. Sí, guys, es lo que les comentaba el día de ayer, uh, que había fallecido lastimosamente la mamá. So, en caso que eran, eh, you know, mandarle un mensajito o something, eh, mostrando support, you know, siéntase con toda libertad de hacerlo. Ya, yeah, creo que, yes. I think I mentioned that yesterday. Thank you yes. so much for the reminder. Okay. All right, guys. So, ya vamos a practicar también la parte de would you rather, guys. We're going to practice this a little bit eh, so we get familiar. But first, revisemos un poquito las WH words um, that are like the most common that we have. Can you please uh, help me, guys? Uh, help me remember what are the most common WH words. There are seven. So what? we have uh -huh. what? what? Why? Why? Where? 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 Yes. When? when? Yes. What? I'm missing two. I'm missing two. How? Yes. Very good. I'm missing when? one more, guys. Wings. Which? Yes, exactly. There we go. There we go. So why? Weekend. Why? Weekend. Where? No, weekend is not a WH word. <laughs> when? <laughs> which? Eso es lo que es mañana, right? So Saturday and Sunday is the weekend. But which is a really good one. Now, uh, just a little reminder. Which is super specific. So like, which one do you prefer? Which is your favorite drink? Which is your favorite movie? So it's super, super specific. But sometimes, uh, which is because you have choices. So let's take a look. Let's take a look if we are able to complete it right here, right? Um, so guys, we have number one, filling the correct equation. Um, Why she Anish to Frank Clara? Okay. Well, um, give me just a moment. So guys, I need the WH word that we can use for each of the situations right here. So number one, sits next to Frank. Who? Oh, what? What? Mm, no, I cannot use Who? what. Who, uh, because this is who? a person, exactly. Remember what objects, places, who is people. Number two. Does the boy come from? He is from Newcastle. What is the WH in number two? Yeah. When? When? Mm, but look at this. He is from ah, Newcastle. Where? 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 Here we go. Where? Yes, that is where. Enrique, number three. Old oh. are her oh. children. Very oh. good. How oh. old? There we go. And uh, so, Gabby, please, number four. When? When is Peter's birthday? Very good. So when is Peter's birthday? In April, I think. There we go. Uh, Margarita, number five. Match is the shirt. It's 20 pounds. Which? 20 dollars. Yeah, it is not which. Margarita? Yes, very good. So that is how much is the shirt? Good. Uh, guys. Andrea, please help us, Andrea, with the next one. So help us with number six. Who is a best playing tennis? Oh, very good. Who is best at playing tennis? It's Bob. Okay, there we go. Um, let me see. Next one, uh, Judy, please. Number seven. Um, what? What yes, are um, you crying? I'm going to my friends. Seven. Ah, um, oh, let's the seven. Yes. yes. Are you cry Are you going? 
Where? Where? Mm, where where are, you are you going? There we go. Where are you going? I'm going to my friends. Number eight. Uh, I think I have uh, Kenya. Are you with us, Kenya? I don't know if Kenya is working. Okay, Francisco, please help me with number eight. Is which which? Um, no, it cannot be which. Is um what? when when Francisco when but remember that when me va a dar un me va a dar un tiempo and the answer is is fifty pence uh, or pence is like cents right fifty cents twenty cents thirty cents so maybe not uh, can you think of another Francisco what. What is an orange juice? It's 50 pence. Mm, no, no. <laughs> because what is like it when? Is. <laughs> uh, when? No. It's no. 50. Okay, cambiemos la palabra pence. Let's change the oh. word pence. Oh. And let's, oh, casi, pero es que falta algo más. How? Pero me falta something else. Oh. Something else is missing. How much? How much? How much? There we go. So how much is an orange juice? Very nice. What teacher? What? Yes. What is pens? Pens. Yeah, pens. This one eh, es como los centavos. Yeah, es una moneda. That's a currency. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Like, I yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I am lost. It's a currency. <laughs> como cuando decimos here, it's twenty pounds. So 20 pounds is una moneda, right? Como libras esterlinas. Uh -huh, so okay. That's why we have a currency. Uh, Rafael, number nine. What is number, what can we use in number nine? When does? When does the restaurant open? Okay, that is a very good one. ¿Cuál sería otra posibilidad? What's another possibility for number nine? When does the what? restaurant open? Where? What? Where? What? 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 No. No. Pero what falta algo, guys. Yes. What, what time? Exactly. What time? What time ah. does the restaurant open? It opens at six o'clock. Porque somos bien específicos there. Okay. Um. So let me go. Uh, Ricardo, number ten. Can I get some ice cream? You can get Whoa. some. Whoa. At the snack bar, leamos la respuesta tú. Read the answer, porque esto me da la idea de what is the equation. So what is the equation word? Word. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm? Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, number 10. ¿Cuál es para el número 10? What, what is for number 10? Which. 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 Mm, no, really, because la Where? respuesta is... Really? You can get some Malte Bar. Mm -hmm. So the answer is, where can I get some ice cream? Where, uh, there we go. Uh, where go. Enrique, please, number 11. Enrique, where what? are you? What? What are you going to order? Very good. There we go. Okay. Uh, tell me, are you there? Yes, there. Margarita, please help me with number 12, Margarita. This one, please. When? When? When are you going to do on Saturday? Mm, but when? Ya tengo Saturday. So it's como lo mismo. That would be the Wish. same. If Wish. you read, if you read the answer, si leemos la respuesta, it says I don't know. Um, what is another possibility? What else well, can we well, use? Well, well, where? Oh, okay, okay, okay. But let's read it. Are you going to do on Saturday? Tendría sentido si digo where are you going to do on Saturday? No. Where? What? No. What? What? what are you going what? to do? What are you going to do on Saturday? That's the one. Okay. Next one, guys. Number 13. Margarita, tell me you're back. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, um, okay. I Where? think she's busy. 
Okay, let me go with Andrea, please. Number 13 has got my pullover. I have got it. Who? Who has Ooh, my pullover? Very nice. Who has my pullover? Pullover is like a sweater, right? Algo que solo se pone. Something that you just put it on. Um, so, tell me, are you good? Tell me, help me with number 14. 14, please. Is what? your name? Ay, very difficult. <laughs> okay, and Belen, the last one, please. Is Susan, uh, Susan's party. It's on Friday. Evelyn, I think she's not there. Okay, guys, so help me please with the last one. So when, when, when. is Susan's party? Very good. Okay, so when is Susan's party? It is, I'm gonna write it here at the bottom. So when is Susan's party? Is on Friday, very good. Okay, guys, solamente recordemos a couple of things. How? No es muy común que estés solito. It's not very common that this is alone, a menos que yo pregunte cómo estás. How are you? How are you doing? But it is super common that we use it with other words. For example, how much, how many, or how old, right? How old are her children? How much is your orange juice? Uh, what time is also very common, incluso más que when. When is very general and what time I need a very specific time. So having this into account, guys, let's go ahead and practice the following exercise. Give me one moment. Okay. And uh, ta -da -da -da. hold on. Oh my God, this is. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, and this is called 20 question game. Okay, so this is like a very uh, easy game, guys. If you take a look, there are five pieces of information. It says Melvin, October 2013, Randy in October. This is my personal information, okay? Guys, we are going to play a five qu 20 question game. That means, deben de hacerme, you need to ask, 20 questions, guys. Um, listen to your classmate carefully, porque si la repiten, ya les contó, right? So it's already um, counted. And las preguntas tienen que ser completas. Subject, verb, complement, auxiliaries. Si la pregunta está mal, guys, I'm not going to validate that one. Uh, so you gotta, you know, make your questions properly. Se pueden ayudar, you can help each other to make the 20 questions. So uh, you have to guess. No es una pregunta de sí, no. This is not a yes, no question. Don't ask me who is Melvin, okay? <laughs> because you have to be super specific, right? Um, and the answer is going to be, I don't know, October 2013, Randy, October. So vamos a adivinar, guys. We are going to ask and we are going to guess what they mean. Are you ready, guys? So 20 questions. Let's get started. You have only 20 questions, guys. What is Randy? Uh, no, but you cannot ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be super specific. You gotta be super, super specific. Okay. Teacher, so, o sea que son 20 preguntas utilizando solamente Melvin, October. No. No, no, no. Okay, let, let me go over again. These ones, Melvin October 2013, they are the answers. Okay, they are the answers. This is called 20 question game. Porque solo tienen 20 oportunidades para adivinar qué son. But your question have to be super specific. Uh, for example, imagine that I have here, um, I don't know, let me, let me think. Let me think, let me think. Okay, imagine that I have here Olo Quilta, right? So let's do a little exercise. ¿Qué se imaginan que es Olo Quilta? What do you think this is? Where do you live? ¿Dónde vive? Okay, uh, so I live in La Libertad. <laughs> Question one. Continue. Department. 
The apartment. Pero necesito la pregunta completa. When is your, is your, your birthday? Oh, what, alguien dijo otra pregunta antes. Somebody asked another question before. Where do you from? Where? Where? Do you from? Eh, solo cambiémosle Where? algo. Where? Where are? Where are Where? you from? Yes, I am from Olaquilta. So that is the one, exactly. So vamos a hacer las preguntas. Sí, We're sí. going to ask questions. So, esas son las respuestas. These are the answers. A little clearer. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, perfect, teacher. perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, let's do it. So you can get started. Eh, Enrique, I think you have a question. When is your birthday? Oh, my, my birthday is in October. Oh. Yes, you got the first. I'm going to yes, cross it. Yeah. There we go. Question one, continue, guys. <laughs> Eh, for the, for, eh, estamos ya diciendo las respuestas, teacher. No, usted no me tiene que dar la pregunta. Yo no estoy Por eso, o sea, por ejemplo, en el caso of name, what is your name, for example. Uh, okay, uh, but what is your name? No le responde. My name is Julie. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> continue, guys, continue. It's a guessing game. When when did you graduate from from university? When? Yeah. Can, can you repeat the question, please? Uh, when did you graduate from the university? Nice. Yeah. 2013. Yes. There we go. Okay. Oh, guys, you guys. What them. is the name of your best friend? The name of my best friend. That's Magali. Four. That's not fair. So any questions, guys? One day, one day, like, uh, for me, um, Escribala, Ricardo. write it down, write it down. Write it down Who is your husband? Um, I'm not married. Fine. <laughs> Continue, guys. Come on, come on. Who is Melvin? <laughs> I will not ask. I will not answer that one. <laughs> what day you born? Um, uh, what day? I was born on the six. Question number six. Melvin, Randy, and Octo. Oh, I'm sorry. Think October twice. Never mind, guys. Sorry, that was my bad. Wait a second. Oh, uh, creo que no sé por qué escribí the word twice. Okay, so let's get Melvin and Randy. Eh, Ricardo, what time, is your question? What you tie, Randy? Mm. What you tie, Randy? Randy. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What's your question? ¿Cuál es el día de? What day? What day? Uh huh. What day? Um, es, write, escríbamela. Yeah. Write it down. Write it down. So write it well, down. Nah. And then we practice How many it. brothers and sisters do you have? Oh my God. I have like 10 or 20 brothers and sisters. Question seven, Enrique. <laughs> Enrique, you're mute. You're mute. What are you, your, your brother's name? I have like 20 brothers. So which brother's name do you want? <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my God. <laughs> so I got uh, David, I got Elmer, I got Arnoldo, I got Carlos. <laughs> I got Robert, but yes, I got Melvin. Very nice one. Okay. So that is equations. Next one, guys. So let us go, Randy. We are just listening. Nine. What is mine? What is your friend nine? 
What is my friend, my friend's name? The name of my friend. Oh, yes, I mentioned that my friend's name is, a, my best, best friend's name is, yeah, it's Megali. So that would be question nine. No, Rafael, no lo traduzca, don't translate it. <laughs> what is your pet's name? Um, I don't have a pet. That is 10. You have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I don't. 11. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Libertad, 12. What is your dad's name? Then that's name? Oh, uh, his name was Julio, 13. Oh, sorry. How old are okay. you? Oh my God, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lot of years old, but that, is, but that is so not. <laughs> well, I think, come on, guys, I want to listen to you. Okay. <laughs> but that was not. So let's get around, guys. I'm sorry? Come on, guys. You got six questions. Go. Come on, guys, come on. I don't know. <laughs> hey, don't worry. So just try to guess. What is your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color. Um, I got or two. Colors, I don't know. So Maybe I got, the three ones. Yeah, but now I got green and red. No sé, no sé cómo decirla en inglés, pero ¿por qué se llamará Randy su hijo? I don't have a baby. I'm going to say that. <laughs> the, name of, the name of your favorite singer? I'm your favorite singer. The name of my favorite singer. Um, no, that's not. But it's close. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Your favorite writer. What is your favorite writer? The name of my favorite writer. Uh, Dan Brown. 18 guys, you're getting super close. Oh, <laughs> Two more questions. Two more, two more. Da -da -da. What is your favorite artist? Uh, can you say that again? What is your favorite artist? What? Mm, I would say maybe a singer. Pero sí, then the last no, question. No, for example, if you have um, an artist like an actor. Yeah, but that was a singer. So my favorite artist is a singer. Guys, and the last question. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I see Gary like, uh, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but 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 I think that was a typo, Ricardo. So let's try to write it right. Um, do we have the last question, guys? No, nobody dares to ask the last. Do you what give is up? the second name? Nobody. No, no miss nobody. my second name. It's not Randy. <laughs> no, my no second Barry name picture. is Marlene. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys. Have you ever heard Randy? Have you ever heard that word? It's a name. No. I think you're talking about Randy, the 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 Aries, the 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 kitchen. But I don't know. No. I don't remember the name. No. Okay, have you ever seen the WWE? Randy Orton. Yes, that's Randy Orton. So he's my favorite fighter. fighter. <laughs> so, yeah, he's my favorite fighter. So that's Randy Orton. <laughs> okay, I think that was it. Guys, have you ever seen WWE? No. No, never. People, the generation son, Oh my God. Okay, so Randy Orton, you know, uh, the Triple H and all of that. <laughs> so that was the one. But very nice job with the questions, though. So very good use of who, very good use of what. So that sounds really nice. 
And that is actually, guys, the next activity. So we are going to practice a little bit of asking question thinking. Let me just a moment here. But let's move on a little bit. And let's go on for the following conversation we have right here. So um, we have a little conversation. conversation. Romali, Hi, Imelda. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Oh, creo que había alguien más as well. Okay. So here we have a little bit of conversation. We do have a couple of questions uh, that we are going to, you know, practice in a little while. So, aquí no he escuchado casi. Who haven't I heard? Um, Rafael, please, can you help me with uh, Jane? Can you help me with this, uh, with Jane's part? And, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let me see. Andrea, please, can you help us with Patrick? Okay. Okay, so the situation says roommates, Jane and Patrick, discuss their weekly shopping trip. So please guys, let's get started. We don't have much for left in the cook box. Patrick, are you ready to, to do all full shopping? Yes, I just put on my shoes and we will go. It's too far from the dormitory. Let's buy or home online. I, I, I've never bought food online before. In America, we don't usually purchase things online. In the UK. UK. Mm -hmm. UK. UK. People often purchase all kinds of things online. Especially food, it's very convenient. How long will it take to be delivered? The delivery service is free. It will spend over 35 pounds. 30? Yeah, you can say pounds. Pounds. 30 pounds. Or euros. Mm -hmm. Pounds. Uh, yes. Over 30, 35 pounds. And we will get it tomorrow afternoon if we order today. That's very good. Are products more expensive online? No, the price are the same and sometimes it can be cheaper. You can often see special offers like buy one get on free. What if the item we choose is not in stock? The staff will choose an alternative of a similar price or give us a refund. Mm -hmm. It all sounds very reso reasonable. 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 ¿Cómo es? Yes, yes, reasonable. Reasonable and convenient. Let's order on online. I will go to the to get my computer and log into the shop website. I will make a shopping list of what we need and you can order it. Okay, I will get my Porsche too. I will use my credit card to pay. Thanks, I will give you my sharing cash from my wallet. Okay, that is fine. Very nice, guys. That was a very nice reading. All right, people. So th they are talking about shopping, right? They are talking about the plans. Uh, we have this word that is uh, pounds. It's not dollars because they are talking about the UK. Now let's get familiar with some words that can be a little difficult sometimes. And of course, and of course, probably some vocabulary here. Uh, first, we are going to work on something that is called linking sounds. So guys, vamos a unir un par de sonidos. We're going to put together a couple of sounds. Uh, for example, uh, let me see. Okay, right here we have put and we have on. So that would be put on. But the T, we are going to change it for R. So put on. I'll just put on. 
So put on. Next one, guys, says um, we have here by and then we have our. So by our, by our, we just put sounds together. Next one we have is in America. So in Good America. Job. So we put sounds together, guys. Siempre unimos los sonidos. We always put sounds together. Um, the next word that we normally have here is, give me one second, where is it? Okay, okay, right here. Give us, give us, so give us, give us. We normally say it together, so give us a refund. The other sound that we normally connect is logging. This one, uh, give you, so give you, give you, we put it together. Thank you very much. Exactly. We have log in. So we normally don't say log in, but we say log in. So and log in to the shop website. There we go. There are a lot of more sounds because the idea is to practice these, you know, but these are the most common uh, connections that we make. So guys, uh, let me read them and please do it with me. So this is put on. Put on. Put on. There we go. Next one, by mm. hour, by hour. By hour. Our. No lo separen, don't split it. It's not by hour, no hacemos eso, sino by hour. By hour. Next one, guys. In America, we don't do that. We say in America. In America. In America. In America. Exactly. So we are different, right? Sounds different. So no, in America, but in America. Next one, guys. Give us. 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 So give us a refund. Next one. Log in. Log in. Log in. There we go. And next one, give you, give you. Give you. Give you. Exactly. So give you. There we go. So those are a couple of words that we normally uh, put together. Of course, you will see later. Hay muchas más. There are like a lot of them. Now, guys, let's go over some uh, words that can be a little bit problematic at the moment that we read them. So we have this one. We have the word, uh, probably this one, reasonable. Uh, we have convenient. And uh, I think that those are the ones I heard. Oh, especially, and that would be it. Oh, and cupboard. Okay, guys. So now, part of the words that can be a little difficult to pronounce, we have cupboard, right? Like cup, like a cup. So cupboard. cupboard. We have purchase. This is buy, so buy, purchase, right? Purchase, specially, so specially. We have 35 pounds. Uh, you can see the word in the chat. So that is pounds, no dollars, but pounds. The next one we have is reasonable, reasonable. It all sounds very reasonable, reasonable, reasonable. And the next one we have is convenient. convenient. So guys, please repeat with me. Cupboard. Cupboard. Mm -hmm. Purchase. Purchase. Specially. Specially. Uh, 35 pounds. 35 pounds. 35 pounds. Mm -hmm. Reasonable. 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 There we go. Convenient. 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 Okay, very nice. Okay, guys. Um, now I want you to practice this conversation. All right. Um, practice the conversation as many times as possible. And guys, vamos a intentar hacerlo lo más fluido que podamos, like the most fluent way we can. Remember, for fluency purposes, fluency no significa hablar super rápido. You know, fluency significa exactamente esto: unir un par de sonidos 
para que se escuche más corto, gastar menos el IVA, pero que se entienda. So it is important that people understand what you're saying. Si no están seguros de una palabra, guys, you can check your dictionary, you can check uh, YouTube, translator, etc. Um, and then we are going to present the conversation. So give me just a moment. Igual, si tienen dudas con vocabulary, you can write them and then we can uh, check them together. I'm going to give you some minutes, guys. Go to the, please take a picture first. Take a screenshot, take a picture. Uh, I'm going to send you to the groups. Practice the pronunciation, practice the, the intonation, practice the fluency, and then we're going to have some volunteers. So guys, let's go ahead. We have five minutes. Let's go to the groups, guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Margarita. Let's go, Belen. Let's go, girls. Let's go, Francisco.
healthy food. It is very convenient. It's very convenient. How long will it take to be delivered? The delivery service is free if we spend over 35 pounds. Come pounds. pounds. Pound. And we will wait and we will get it tomorrow afternoon if we order today. That is a very very good. Are products more expensive online? No, the prices are the same and sometimes it can be cheaper. You can of, often see a special offers like buy no get one free. One get one free. What if the item we choose is not in the stock? The staff will choose an alternative alternative of a similar price or give us a refund. It all sounds very reasonable and convenient. Let's order online. I will go to get my computer and log in to the shop website. I will make a shopping list of what we need and you can order it. Okay, I will get my purse too. I will use my credit card to pay. Thanks. I will give my share in cash from my wallet. Okay, that is fine. And Andrea, start again, please. Okay. We don't have much food left in the cupboards. Patrick, are you ready to do our food shopping? Yes, I'll just put, it, put on my shoes and we will go. It is too far from the dormitory. Let's buy our buy our food online. I never bought food online before. In America, we don't usually purchase things online. In in the U, UK, people often purchase all kinds of things online, especially food. It is very convenient. It is very convenient. Wait a minute. This, uh, how long will it it'll take to be delivered? The delivery service is free. If we spend over 35 pounds and we will get it tomorrow afternoon if we order today. That, that is very good. Are products more expensive online? No, the prices are the same and sometimes it can be cheaper. You can often see special orders like buy one to get one free. What if the item we choose is not in stock? The stock which will choose an alternative of a similar price or give us a refund. refund. It all sounds very reasonable and convenient. Let's order online. I will, I will go to the, get my computer and login to the shop's website. I will make a shopping list of what we need and you can order it. Okay, I will get my purse too. I will use my credit card to pay. Thanks. I will give you my sharing cash from my wallet. Okay, that is fine. Okay. Maria Star. Okay. That was actually very nice. That sounds really good, girls. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Okay. Um, I think that we can give it a try one more time. But now, girls, vamos a enfocarnos en algo más. We are going to put, lo están haciendo super genial. You're doing it nicely. Now, solamente vamos a hacer a little change in here. Sometimes, uh, when we are speaking, it is important to emphasize a couple of words, right? So, for example, uh, number one says we don't have much food left in the cupboards. 
So, ¿qué palabra from this little sentence creen que es importante? What word do you think it is important? So, ¿cuál es la idea of sentence number one? We don't have much food left in the cupboards. What do you think? Escojan una palabra. Choose a word. It doesn't matter. No encuentro la, la, la oración. <laughs> oh, at the very beginning, la primera, the first one, it says, mm -hmm. we don't have much food left in the cupboards. So, ¿qué palabra es importante? What word is important in this, in this sentence, let's say? Don't have. Okay. Okay. Sounds really nice. So, in English, uh, hay algo que se llama intonation. Intonation es nuestra voz, el ritmo de nuestra voz, you know? So, when normally we listen to a person, eh, no sonamos como, hi everybody, good evening, how are you? <laughs> no sonamos flat, all right, porque hay palabras más importantes. Entonces, what we do es que escogemos una palabra, la que consideramos más importante, y estresamos. That means, hacemos nuestra voz más fuerte. So, we don't have much food left in the cupboards. Voy a enfatizar, voy a hacer mi voz más alta, right? En lo que yo considero importante. So, let's give it a try. But, de cada oración, uh, let's choose or let's pick one specific word. Si es pregunta, recordemos que va hacia arriba. Are you ready to do our food shopping? Ya, yeah, y hacemos ese, ese sonido de in, you know. So, para trabajar con intonation too. Like, we don't have much food left in the cupboards. Patrick, are you ready to do our shopping or the food shopping? Yes. I'll just put on my shoes and we will go. So, escojamos una palabra, select one word, la hacemos más fuerte, and then continue reading, okay? Lo están haciendo super nice, girls. You're doing a very, very nice job. Just let's keep it up. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? How are you doing? Hello, teacher. I, I have a question, teacher. Yes, what's your question? When, when you explain the theory, uh, you mention a, a poco. No tiene que ver con esta actividad, pero escucha una palabra que dice a poco lo o algo así cuando nos está dando la, las indicaciones de la actividad. Acópolo. O a, a, copolo, a copolo, a copolo, a Ah, a copolo. Ajá, ajá. Oh, ok. No he entendido esa palabra. Acópolo. <risa> Dígame, so tell me. A copol, a copol of, como un par de, o a copol of. Ajá, so that's a un par de, ajá. Like, okay, I have a couple of questions. A couple, a couple, a couple of. Couple puede ser como mi esposo, mi esposa, mi pareja, ya. Yeah. Uh, so that's couple, pero también un par de. So I have a couple of questions. I have a couple of ideas. So I have a couple of pictures. Mm -hmm. So couple. Yeah, I, I. <laughs> Oh, like, a couple, yeah. Siempre lo había escuchado y qué será, y qué será. Uh, oh, that's a couple. Uh, es un par de A couple. Uh, a couple of, yes, un par de cosas. A couple okay. of things. Yes. Sí. No, oh, no, nice. Ahora, ahora le pregunto. No, that's okay. That's okay. I, I like it. That means que si estamos trabajando listening. So that means you're working on your listening. That sounds good. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys, ¿cómo les fue la práctica? How is your practice going? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, ahorita en in, in place, someone can uh, work and not understand that I need to to time the, the agencies. Okay, okay. With pronunciation, with intonation, are we okay? Are we fine? We don't have to in the 
Are you ready to go yeah, yeah, over? Yeah, bro, yes. Yay. Yes, I hope we join uh, my child and we go. go. We will go. We go. We uh, will we go. We go. We will go. We will go. Yes. We will go. Mm -hmm. It's too far from the dormitory. Let's buy on. By by all, yes. by all who online. Yes. I never I want food online before in America. I will die usually for chat die and online. Okay, okay. Uh, Ricardo, read with me, please. I have never bought. I never work food online. Food online. Before. Before. In America. In America. We don't usually. We don't usually. Purchase things purchase online. Thing online. Very nice. Very nice. Bien, Rafael. Very good. Continue. Uh, continue, uh, Rafael. <laughs> Rafael, le dije ya, ¿cómo comienza con R? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ricardo, nice. <laughs> Let's go yeah, ahead, Rafael. Rafael. Go ahead. In, in the UK, people yeah. often purchase all kinds of things offline, online, mm -hmm. especially food. It's, it is very convenient. 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 Yes. How long have we it like uh, deliver? But but slowly. How long? How long will it take? Will it take to be delivered? Delivered. To be delivered. To be delivered. Yes, nice. Teacher, ahí está preguntando es how long? ¿Cuánto costará? No, no. Uh, how long? How long? The question how refers long? to time. No. La pregunta es bien interesante, you know, because how, si se recuerda, puede ser como. But uh -huh. you can say how often, how much, how many. Y también okay. how old, y este que es how old. How long significa cuánto tiempo. How long will it take to be delivered? Y la respuesta dice... The, the delivery is free and we will get it tomorrow afternoon. Esta es la respuesta. Tomorrow afternoon. How long will it take to be delivered? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Like, for example, uh -huh, like, cuando usted compra algo en Amazon, en eBay, for example, oh, how long will it take to be delivered? ¿En cuánto tiempo me llega? Right? ¿En cuánto tiempo se despacha? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's the Delivery service. Yes, yes, Rafael. A fresh, a fresh uh, Creo que eso era de Rafael, I think. Dele, Rafa. The delivery service is free. Is we spend our 35 points and we will get tomorrow afternoon if we order today. Die a very good. Are a product more expensive online? No, the price are the same and sometimes it can be cheaper. You can open the special offer like by one get get on free. Podría ser así, teacher. By one get on free. By one get on free. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it? I intend we chose and now stuck. Slowly, slowly, Ricardo. What if? What is the item we choose? The item we choose. 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 Mm -hmm. It's not in a stock. It's in not. It's not, not in a stock. In a stock. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that will choose an item of a similar price. 
La diferencia, por ejemplo, entre shoes de zapatos y shoes, casi igual se escucha. Yes ¿Cómo? and no, um, because if you're talking about this word, what if the item we choose? We choose. Like when you we say a shoe. Es bien fuerte. Uh, and the other one is, is I need a pair of, you don't say I need a pair of shoes. <laughs> you say Please I need shoes. a pair of shoes. <laughs> Lee shoes. Uh -huh. Lee shoes. You call it Lee shoes. No, Lee shoes. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Uh, de hecho, son dos, son dos sonidos. Lee uh, shoes. Creo que no los tenemos. I think we don't have those. Because in Spanish. No, you know. Sí los tenemos. We have them. Because we say acha and we say uh, chino, right? But then we say shh. Uh, so we have them, pero no es muy común. So yeah, this is shoes. Y zapatos is shoes. Like these shoes. Uh, Ricardo, you go. It all sounds. He looks down second, very reasonable, reasonable and convenient, and convenient, and convenient, a lay for the line. Line. I will go to get my computer and log in to the shop's website. Mm -hmm. I will make a shopping. I like what we need, and you can order it. Okay, I will get my purse. Here. I will use my credit card to pay. Okay. Buenas noches. Gracias. Nos vemos otro día. I will you my. You. I will give you. I will give you. Uh -huh. I might charge my share. My share. Uh -huh. And calls from my wallet. One more time. One more time. Thanks. One more time. One more time. Otra vez. One more time. Thanks. 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 Uh -huh. I will write you. Give you. Give you. Uh -huh. Give you. My charity. My share. Share. My share. In cash. From my wallet. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Ah. Oh, that's fine. Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is fine. Very nice, guys. Very good. Sounds good. Okay, Ricardo, I... muy buen trabajo. Very nice job, Ricardo. You can do it. Sounds really cool. Solo hagámoslo despacio. Do it slowly. Tome su tiempo y escuche, you know. Lo que acabamos uh -huh. de hacer was super good, you know. Y de hecho la tarea yeah. así es. <laughs> so escúchalo <laughs> y grabes. Because I really así need es. y lo puede hacer bien. You can do it definitely nice. Very nice. Very okay, good job, yes. guys. Uh, because okay, of the time, we gotta go back. So give me just a moment. Hold on. Give me just a second, guys. Let me, I think some people are missing. Okay. 
Hey guys, so very nice job actually. Very good job with the reading. Um, let's just add something else here. Give me one moment. And uh, guys, palabras nuevas, did you find new vocabulary? Words that you didn't understand? Words that you don't know? Oh, estamos bien, are we good? Sorry, teacher, Adam, I, I couldn't listen to you. What was the question? Uh, yeah, did you find new vocabulary? Did you find new words, new things, or are we okay? What is cookboard? Okay, so this one, give me just a moment. That's Kuwait. Okay, so we have covers. Uh, any other word that you don't know, guys? New vocabulary? No more. Charles. Charles. Yes, teacher. Refound. Refund or uh -huh. refound. Okay. Anything else? Uh, in my case, uh, I don't know the pronunciation of reasonable or I don't oh. know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Reasonable. Okay. Sounds good. Anybody else? The little. Okay, so let's take a look here. Cupboards, uh, guys, cupboards is the place in your house where you normally, uh, where you store, where you keep, right? Um, your uh, plates, um, where you put glasses, uh, what else, cups, um, in El Salvador, we put like knives, forks, and everything. So cupboard is the place that you have in your house and where you put all you these little things. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. That is the one. So that is a cupboard. Uh, choose. What is choose, guys? Can you give me another word for choose? Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So choose. What if the item we choose is not in a store? What is choose? Choose is select, right? Select or pick. What if the product we select? What if the product we pick? Teacher. All right. Yes. Cheaper. ¿Qué quiere decir cheaper? Mm, okay, I, I'll go with cheaper in a moment. Let's go with refund then. So refund, guys, is money. For example, I bought a Samsung. The Samsung TV was $600, but the, the, I don't like the TV. The TV is bad in really bad conditions. So I go to Walmart and I say, look, I don't want the TV because the TV is broken. I want my money back. So that is a refund. I need, money. exactly, I need my money back. So money back, all right? So money back, right, uh, is like a refund. So normally we say, I need, I, can I need my back. money back. So I need my money back is I would like a refund. I would like a refund, right? So I would like my money. Guys, alguna vez han pedido reembolso? Have you ever asked for a reimbursement or a refund? No, not yet. Never. Never. Okay. Nobody? I saw Gabriela saying yes. Uh, Gabby, what did you get a refund for? Um, a lot of stuff, especially when oh. I moved to a new home, to my new um, 
well i'm living in a new place so okay when i moved to that place um i bought a lot of stuff especially like three um fans uh no sé si fans se llama igual al del techo yes yeah so i paid it pay them in cash and i have to rip to um gave them back because i found a lot of another in the same same color say it was exactly the same but it was cheaper so i bought a thing in another store and i returned oh. it and I, and i returned the items to the original store and oh. they gave me a refund but not in cash they gave me a check so oh. it was oh. like a little complicated the uh, um the to process, change it but, to cash yeah. it oh yeah no but they gave you the money <laughs> So they gave you the they money. They gave me the money. They didn't uh -huh. want to, but they have to. Uh -huh. Well, just a question. Where did you buy it? Okay. <laughs> I need to Bibri. buy one of those. Ah, really? Was yeah, it cheaper? Yeah, it's really complicated. And from EPA is really, really um, super fast. Yeah, super fast. yeah, exactly. But but at the end, where where did you buy the fan? I f I bought them from. Uh, in oh. the escalon i think they were there are awesome fans and things like and things there uh, and cheaper yeah cheaper oh thank you <laughs> thank you for the recommendation i'll, I'll get there <laughs> okay nice so that is exactly a refund guys yes Belen. teacher i have a question uh -huh. but it's not about uh, the sentences i have uh laguna mental okay and a I blank remember a, a, a blank yeah what's I have your blank. blank yeah okay um it's out of the context but it, in the last classes you explained to us about when you agreed the ing when they are um not it's progressive it's because it is something an experience or something that you already do or you will do but i don't under i don't remember uh, maybe it's something about gerunds i don't remember but it sounds like gerunds yeah it sounds like gerunds but i don't remember but you uh, explained to us that mm -hmm. Uh, it's not because the the sentences it's in, in present progressive for example mm -hmm. it's because we have to use it because uh, maybe it's an experience of something like that but mm -hmm. i don't remember exactly the rule mm -hmm. it sounds like gerunds but 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 what would be the question or, or what is uh, the blank <laughs> yeah the blank is a uh, what exactly use the ing we don't only present progressive it's not only for the progressive no. uh, yeah okay. exactly that okay. is my question okay i think we can take a couple of minutes by the end of the class to go over uh gerunds but yes it's not only for present progressive all right uh remind me please remind me like uh 10 minutes before we finish so we can go over that no worries Okay, guys, okay. we are missing here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We are missing here just two more words. Uh, one is reasonable. Do you remember the word affordable that we were checking yesterday? So we said not cheap, yes. not expensive, but affordable yes. things that I can pay for that. Uh, reasonable is like that. It all sounds very reasonable and convenient. So a price that you say, mm, it's okay. Mm, you. you know it's expensive but i can pay that or it's because it is worth it or it is cheap oh i really like it and i will buy that one so that is reasonable um yeah and i think many uh, of has one question with the word cheaper right so this one remember that cheaper is uh the comparative for cheap so we have expensive, affordable, or reasonable in this case, and cheaper, right? So they are the opposite. Um, okay, guys. So very nice job with the reading. Um, guys, we are going to practice a couple of questions that we have uh, still missing here. So give me just a moment. At the very beginning of the class, we were working with this part that was, hold on. 
with this part I was, uh, would you rather, right? And we said that would you rather is another kind of question. So taking a look at this one, if you take a look, you have, would you rather be, would you rather live, would you rather jump, would you rather be? So we normally use the verb after would you rather, and we have two options. Would you rather be this would one? Would you like it? Very good. One? Very good. Mm, well, normally we have or that is going to separate both uh, you know, parts. Would you rather, we don't change this one, would you rather be intelligent or good looking, like beautiful, yeah. handsome? Would you rather live in the mountains or in the beach? Would you rather bungee jumping or a skydive? Would you rather be rich or find true love? <laughs> okay, guys, can you please add three more? Can you include three more would you sure, rather uh, questions? Question. Yes, tell me. It, 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 is, it is a ruler the use or in between options or our use and for example. Not here. Because would you rather, I need one specific answer. Like, would you okay. rather be what intelligent day? or very good looking? So mi pregunta es, si preferiría, otra forma de decirlo es, do you prefer mm -hmm. or would you prefer? Would you prefer to be intelligent or very good looking? No hay dos posibilidades. No, you need I... to pick up one, exactly. So okay. would you rather is very specific because it's like, would you prefer, preferirías? And you need to pick up one. Uh -huh. So that's why we use or to separate the options. Would you prefer? And there we go. Okay, guys. Can you include three more, please? Three would you rather? Would you rather? Would. Remember, no solo puedo usar B. I can use any, you know, uh, bird you that rather. I want. Pero es de posibilidades siempre. It's possibilities. Y tienen que escoger una. You need to choose one. So, I don't know. Would you rather live in England or Germany? Would you rather study in El Salvador or Mexico? So I don't know guys. So any question that comes to your mind, three questions, please. Can you include them? When you do very teacher Klaus, that's it. Uh, can you repeat, please? When you write them, very teacher Klaus. Okay, uh, sorry guys. En esta la primera hace falta el you. I don't know what happened with the you. Uh, no. creo que lo borré. So would you rather, right? Uh, so su pregunta, uh, Ricardo, your question. Uh, let me write it here so we can have visibility. Would you what rather? Do. Teacher. Would, would you rather? Pero necesito un verbo. Would you rather? Would you rather be? Porque, okay, would you rather be? Teacher. Teacher. A teacher. teacher. It's okay. A teacher or? Uh, or. Necesito otra ocupación. Or? O clown. Clown, como de payaso. O no, o class. Clown o clown. Mm, pero necesito como dos de la misma categoría. Because this one, lo que quiere preguntar ah. es, would you rather es preferiría. Que la preferiría la ser. No, this is more like, preferiría ser profesor. Would you, la, would you rather ah. be a teacher? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. would you rather be a teacher or, ¿qué más? This is a very good one. Solo necesito otra ocupación. I just need another occupation. Teacher, matemática. Mm, would you rather be a teacher? Pero buscamos otra, you know, another occupation, another job. Would you rather be a teacher or a? Eh, 
¿Cómo se llama? Finish, finish. A finish. Eh, pero necesito un empleo. I need a job. Ah, Estamos hablando ay. de ocupaciones. Uh -huh. We are talking about ah, occupations sí. here. I work in the liver, the liver. How shall? Uh, piénsalo, you know, think about it, escríbelo oh, y luego nos, la do, luego nos da las, las opciones, no worries. Think about it, piénsalo, think about it. Uh, Rafael, thank you. I see your sentences. Uh, con la primera, quitémosle el to. Están súper bien. Solo quitémosle el to y está perfect. Would you rather play? Would you rather be? Would you rather... Um, I think it says... Would you rather drink coffee or tea? Would you rather take the bus or walk to downtown? Mm -hmm. Very nice questions. I uh, see Imelda has some questions too. Would you rather watch the movie or read the book? Read the book, Imelda. Always, 100%. Would you rather travel on a train or on a plane? Oh, very nice questions. Mm -hmm. Two more minutes, guys. Let me check. Would you rather? <laughs> Perfect, Rafael. There we go. Very nice. Would you rather walk or drive? Okay. Okay, tell me your questions are very hard. <laughs> your, the choices you have are really difficult, but they are really good questions. W would you rather eat without getting fat or make money without working? How is that possible? Would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade now? Well, oh my God. Would you rather lose your sight or your memories? Oh, those are very, I'm really curious. <laughs> Delby, those are crazy questions, but I like them a lot. <laughs> I really like them. Very interesting indeed. Okay. Okay, guys, so let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at your questions. Would you rather eat pizza or chicken? Would you rather uh, eat many grapes or the strawberries? Would you rather travel in bus or the car? Okay, very nice. Okay, guys, let's go over the questions we have right here. Okay, so, okay. Uh, okay, Enrique, that's very nice, pero me falta el verbo en la primera. Would you rather a dog or a cat? La pregunta está genial, pero me falta como el que. 
eh, preferirías comerte un perro, <laughs> bañar el perro, tener un perro. So I just need the verb, right? But it's super nice. The rest are really good. I like it. <laughs> no, pues no sé, imagínese que vaya allá por China, uh, you know, Korea, so they will never know. <laughs> Hay tantas cosas que se pueden hacer con los perros, right? And cats. Okay, guys, so uh, question one, I need, I need to listen. I would really like to listen to your answers, right? <laughs> uh, number one, would you rather be very intelligent or very good looking? Very good looking is attractive. Guys, very intelligent or very good looking? Intelligent. 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 Not good looking? Does everybody go for intelligence? No, say Rick. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. I don't believe that, but that is okay. <laughs> That's okay. Number two, would you rather live in the mountains or in the beach? Mountains. Okay, so mountains. I like live in the mountains. Mountains too. Okay, me too. Mountains. Yeah, right. Anybody would like to live at the beach? It's too hot, right? It's too hot in there. Okay, okay. Uh, now, would you rather be rich or find true love? Rich. Maybe rich. Rich. <laughs> okay. Rich. So rich, really? Okay, so not true love. Guys, porque ya no creen. Why don't you believe in that? <laughs> Okay. Teacher, the rich yes. it find love. No, but not through love. <laughs> so yes, to you become a sugar mommy or a sugar daddy, and that's not true love. <laughs> okay, guys, vamos con sus Teacher, preguntas. Go with your question. Eh, yes, me. Who, who is? Yes, skydiving. Sky ah, that's a very good one. So skydiving. Would you rather? Bungee jumping or a skydive. Bungee jumping, guys, is you go to a bridge, is salta from a bridge, right? That's the point of this. A skydive se sube en un avión, so you go on an airplane or in a helicopter, is salta el helicopter. <laughs> so would you rather bungee jump or a skydive? Thank you. ¿Cuál de las dos? Which of them? Skydive. Skydive. You had to you had to make a choice either way. Okay, guys, I want to listen to your question. So, guys, volunteers, who wants to read a question for us? ¿Quién tiene una pregunta para hacer? Who has a question that would like to be asked? Yes, Andrea, go ahead, please. Okay, would you rather go back to the past or go to the future? Oh, that's a very good one. Guys, would you rather go to the past or to the future? To the past, teacher. To the future. To the past. To the, future. Past. To the past. future. To the past. Why? To talk with um, relatives that it doesn't that passed away, for example. Oh, super nice, super cute. Okay, why to the past, guys? What about the rest? Because I don't, I don't want to know my future. Okay. I, I just want to, uh, uh, give, give to myself younger some advices. But... Oh, I like it. Okay, to get yourself some advice. Pero sin olvidar nada, right? Without forgetting anything. Uh -huh. I agree on that. That's a good thing. Yes, guys, I want to be 20 years old. <laughs> so I would definitely go back and be 20 years old. Uh, and can they go futuro? Who said the future? Me. Why? Angelica. Why Angelica? Why the future? <laughs> the future? Because it's interesting. I, have, I want to know what I do with my life in an uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, oh. I should uh, good uh, good decision in the in the in my life. Oh. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Pero si está la oportunidad de regresar, right? <laughs> if you get the chance to go back. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. 
I you. have to I have the moment with myself in the past. Yeah, I really had I, I really had I, I think I have a, a little I don't know how to say golpearme a mi mismo. <laughs> ah, like to put it like to scold or punish yourself. Yes. Okay, so lecture, probably lectured, lecture yourself, como um, autorregañarse, I guess. Ah, like, lecture yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, guys, who has another one? Come on, give us yours. What do you have? In the chat, you have a lot, guys. So, escojan one and select one, the ones that you have there. And tell us I what think you got. Tell me half the best. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, sir, like totally, you know, difficult, I would say. Tell me, I want to ask one of the ones you have written in the chat. What do you read, Would you rather spend a day in the. Would you rate it without getting fat or make money? without working okay, guys so make, make money make money, <laughs> make money. <laughs> without working wow yes oh, okay that okay. is the dream <laughs> oh okay without make, working <laughs> uh -huh, make money without <laughs> working i don't know getting eating without getting fat I don't know. That's interesting too. That, that that catches a lot of my attention. So because I breathe and I'm heavier. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I see another one. So, um, hey, Rafael, what do you have? Or Judy? I don't know if you have one. Can you uh, select one, please? Okay. Would you try rather travel in bus or car? No, oh, okay. Car. Uh, in car. I prefer car. That was an easy one, right? <laughs> okay, that was really easy. Okay, guys, very nice equations. They sound super, super good. And we got to continue with this topic on Monday. Um, guys, solo les voy a tomar cinco minutitos eh, para revisar algo really quick que tiene que ver con los gerunds and uh, un poquito de infinitives. Este tema lo van a ver uh, later on. ¿Ya estudiaron gerundios? Did you study gerunds? Creería que sí. I think you did. Ya le mandé, teacher. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to check them in a moment. Eh, no, okay. Let me go really quick with them. Uh, and as uh, uh, Belen mentioned before, uh, la forma ING no siempre es para presente continua. Let me explain how. For example, I am reading a book. Si yo tengo la combinación de el verbo to be más el ING es porque ahorita lo estoy haciendo, right? This would be present progressive. Pero el present progressive me indica que ahorita está pasando. Si digo, por ejemplo, ayer, imagine that I'm talking about yesterday y digo, ayer a las 10 de la noche estuve leyendo un libro o estaba leyendo el libro. So, solo hago el cambio a pasado. I was reading a book. Pero sigue siendo un tiempo progresivo. ¿Qué sucede ahora con los gerundios? No siempre voy a usar el verbo to be con un ing. ¿Cuándo sucede esto? Algunas veces ya hemos tenido la necesidad de expresar ideas como lo que me gusta hacer, right? Uh, for example, me gusta dormir. Guys, ¿cómo decimos me gusta dormir? I like sleeping. Ok, so tengo esa expresión, pero les, eh, los teachers anteriores desde módulo 1 les dijeron nunca se pueden utilizar dos verbos juntos, right? Nunca se usa I am work, I am steady, no se puede. Entonces, ¿qué pasa con I like sleep? No se puede. You cannot do this. So, acá viene la parte del ING o el to. Hay dos formas de hacerlo y de separarlos. Tengo siempre que separarlos. Puedo decir I like to sleep or 
puedo decir la forma gerundio, es decir, ing. I like sleeping. So, transformo el segundo verbo. Y esto sí se puede. Lo que nunca es posible es tener dos verbos juntos, right? Si hay excepciones, but lo van a ver más adelante en avanzados. So, if I want to say, for example, me gusta, I love, ok, y realmente me encanta cocinar, I have, I love cook. I love to cook. Pero no I se puede. Ajá. Entonces, I love. I love to cook or oh, I, love I love cooking. cooking. Entonces, esto no es un verbo. Ok, I love cooking. ¿Cuál es la actividad más importante acá? ¿Que me gusta? ¿De qué, de qué estoy hablando, guys? ¿Del cocinar o que me gusta cocinar? Que le gusta cocinar. No. Que me gusta cocinar. Exactly. Entonces, este es el verbo y esto es el qué. La actividad. La Porque acción. no digo estoy cocinando. Exactly. I don't say I am cooking, right? If I tell you I love cooking, mm, quiero decir que ahorita estoy cocinando. No. No. No, right? Solo estoy diciendo que algo me gusta hacerlo. Now, for example, tengo otros verbos like hate. What is the meaning of hate? Odio. Yo odio. odio. Exactly. Guys, ¿cuál es una actividad que no le gusta hacer? What is an activity that you hate doing? Work. I hate work. <laughs> I know, pero algo menos. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, so tengo wait, but again, yo no puedo decir I hate wait porque este es odiar y este es esperar y tengo dos verbos juntos. ¿Qué voy a hacer, guys? What do I do? Waiting. Yes. I hate waiting. Oh, That's wait. it. Uh, ok. Algunas veces sí se pueden ambos. Otras veces no se le puede poner tú a algunos. También lo van a ver luego. So, I hate waiting es una de las formas más fáciles. Again, ¿de qué estoy hablando? De las cosas que yo odio hacer. Y esta se le llama gerundio porque ya no es una actividad que está pasando ahorita. So, pretty much, el gerundio me dice o me ayuda a tener dos verbos juntos, a decir cosas que me gustan, cosas que odio, cosas cosa, que no, etc. ¿Qué cosa odia, teacher? Me. Um, um, I, I don't know. Let me think. Waiting. Waiting. Um, yeah. But, you know, but, but I hate waiting in cues. Uh, Q, guys, es una palabra francés, pero la usamos en inglés para hablar de las filas o cuando van al banco, right? When you go to the bank y hay que hacer ah. fila. Ay, oh, guys, I hate waiting in queue. I really hate waiting in a queue. Or when Así you go to the Duisenco. I'm sorry. Así me dejó la conversion cuando dice how. Y, y repetí esa palabra cuando me mandó el audio. Okay. Ah, bye. Entonces sigamos practicando la Ricardo. So continue practice. <laughs> Todavía me la tienes que mandar. You still need to send it over to me. So that is I hate, right? So, eh, guys, lo van a ver más adelante, pero solo para sacar un poquito, you know, eh, despejar un poquito el tema. No sé si estamos bien. Questions, ya lo vamos a practicar. Too. We're going to practice this a lot. Eh, Belén, are we good? Guys, are we good? O más confundidos? Tell me, talk to me. <laughs> no, teacher. Clear It's teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Meeting. Vamos a hacer, we're going to do one little activity. Because necesito que practiquemos la parte de vocabulary building. Uh, so, el día de ayer les pedí que seleccionaran cinco objetos. Ok, solamente me van a seleccionar one object. De las cosas que usan, right? Perfumes, deodorant, cookies, lo que sea, anything. Computer, your cell phone. Escojan uno. I want you to select one specific object. I want you to describe the object. Ok. And record one minute audio. Necesito que lo graben, guys. I really want you to record it porque sí quiero escuchar su voz. I really want to listen to your voice. Vamos a hacerlo para el día man. Uh, send it on Monday. So, el audio, please, la idea no es que sea súper largo, ok, pero 30, no, 30 segundos muy poquito, right? So, one minute, guys. So, one minute audio. 
Tampoco de 10 segundos. Hi, I'm going to talk about my cell phone. My cell phone is a Samsung. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's not the idea, sino practicar todo el vocabulario que podamos. Eh, so, ¿qué vamos a utilizar? Estamos usando la expresión furthermore para combinar dos oraciones. We use in addition, por lo general, in addition, ya es cuando finalizamos, right? La última idea goes with in addition, o queremos agregar algo. Also, podemos agregar and, podemos agregar that, all right? Um, so, the idea is keep on talking, eh, de tal manera que no se escuche, eh, you know, repítanlo, 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 hasta que estén listos, se graban, pueden grabarse en WhatsApp. Está la opción, right, uh, que lo puedan grabar en una eh, aplicación aparte y luego lo envíen directamente para que, you know, you practice the more you can. Si quieren que se los revise, con gusto, guys, solo me envíen la captura, envíenme la picture and I'm going to like go and check your writing. So, vamos a describir un objeto de los que ustedes usan. Uh, describe it como la actividad que hicimos ayer, right? The same activity we did yesterday. Ustedes escogen el artículo e intentamos utilizar parte de los conectores. Furthermore, in addition, also, and that. Y todo lo que puedan agregar. First, second, next, after, etc. Preguntas, guys. Questions. No, teacher. ¿A qué medio tenemos que enviárselo? Uh, más fácil, Miss, por WhatsApp. Send it to my WhatsApp. Envíenmelo okay. privado, please. Eh, y de hecho, les debo... Eh, les debo el feedback de los, que, de los audios que me enviaron antes. Eh, ya se los voy a estar compartiendo el día de mañana. Because uh, I want to listen to them slowly and carefully. Ok, guys. Antes de irnos, if no more questions, eh, solo me ayudan con sus camaritas, please. Help me with your cameras. Eh, solo les paso asistencia. And we will be dismissed. So. One moment. Ayúdenme con sus camaritas, please, guys. Eh, solo para que nos quede constancia in the video. So, I have eh, Andrea. Present. Gracias, Belén. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, oh, Carlos is not here. Eh, Delmi. Present. Thank you so much. One second. Uh, Felix. Thank you. I have Francisco. Present. Thank you. Uh, Helen. Helen is acá. So, Helen. Mm -hmm. Hola, Miss. Thank you so much. Imelda. Present. Thank you. Iris. Oh, Iris didn't come. Eh, Arnoldo. Arnoldo is acá. Ricardo. Thank you. Kenya. Thank you, Miss Angelica. Present. Thank you, Gaby. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Present. Margarita. Present. Ruben. And Judy. Present. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, so, solamente un little re reminder. Eh, trabajemos en la platform, please. Intentemos terminarla. Y no se nos olvide enviar el, el audio a más tardar el día lunes. Gracias, guys. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Nos vemos el lunes. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Good evening. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Angelica, good night. Bye. 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 Solo me regalo unos minutitos, Angélica, please. Bye, guys. Okay. See you, see you. Just a moment. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Solo le voy a robar un par de minutitos eh, to listen to you a little bit better. Because uh, I think that is a very good opportunity to listen to you to um for an extended period of time how are you miss how are you doing uh yeah. tired tired very tired i have a, a lot of work today oh uh, are yeah. you still with the two projects yes <laughs>
Oh, how is it and, going? And, and I have two more. <laughs> okay. Two more. Yes. And my my job, uh, I'm an architect to design um the las tiendas stores store the distribution oh. distribution of the store okay so i can i have to do well one two three three stores, three stores design three stores oh. and excuse me no 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 sorry it's just my my thing okay and i have a, another this is my for myself job for i Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm in a work with a clinic. Mm -hmm. So I have a, a, a little of pressure. <laughs> uh, but that is like, are you freelance? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, okay. So with these yeah. stores, are you working on individual projects as a freelance? Yes. Ah, nice. <laughs> and you have like a formal job. Yes, yes, I have a formal show. Yes. Oh uh, my god. How do you <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I have a uh, schedule a really really tight schedule. Yes. So you yes. work on Saturday and Sundays? Sometimes I have to sometimes I have to do work on Saturdays and uh, Are you working tomorrow? No, no, tomorrow, no. Okay. Wow, but it sounds really well, interesting. For my, my project, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but, but it's your own clinic. I have to do a, the supervision. Oh. Yes. No, no, it's, it's for uh, the father of my best friend. He's doing his, his clinic. Okay. So I, the supervisor, architect supervisor for the, ah, the project. Ah, okay. But it's more like, oh, it's, that person is my friend and I'm going to help. So. Oh, something, something like that. I have a, a, a little time free mm -hmm. to yeah. do something else, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of difficult sometimes with the provider. Providers. The provider, they have to, to con they, they do the construction Uh -huh. And it's, it's sometimes complicated. Uh, to work with them or because you are not 100% present in the project? Both. <laughs> Both. Oh, I imagine yes. it should be really difficult. Wow, yes. but you have a lot of projects on your own. So you have like <laughs> a lot of things to do. Yes. I wonder how you manage the time because <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work. I have two, no, three, three weeks. I sleeping like at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning, and I have to work in seven, 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 seven thirty in the morning for my my official work. So, oh, but but do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy what you do? I, I'm enjoying my job, really. Okay, <laughs> so I think that that is important because if you like it, so it's more like a hobby, right? It's something that you really like. Nice, it sounds really good. Um, I just got um, a little bit of feedback. Um, well, first, congratulations, because I think that you communicate very nicely. Um, talking about your English level, you have a, like a very good Uh, but I already your vocabulary, so very good handling of grammar. Pronunciation is very nice, so that sounds really good. Uh, I would just invite you to work a little bit on the vocabulary thing, right? Uh, to increase it, to sound more advanced, yeah, to, as we call it in Spanish, para hacerlo como más florido, right? But besides that, I think that your English is amazing. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for the participation because I know you're busy. And on top of that, you know, you are always here, like in classes participating. So I really like it. So thanks so much for that. Sounds really cool. Um, thank you.
tell me, tell I me. Lo I lo love um, for my vocabulary of, or my pronunciation is, I think is really helpful for me, for me is singing. Oh. I always try to sing with, uh, with, with the lyrics. Yes. Pronunciation. No, good. I, I, I have a little practice with my sister sometimes. Oh. Do you like singing? Like in karaoke or something? Yes, of course. Somebody else knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but that is a very good practice. The thing is that I love singing, you know, and, uh, and I learn a lot. I learn a lot from lyrics, from music. You learn vocabulary. You learn a lot of ideas. You learn a lot of things. So that is nice. What about your listening? What are you doing for your listening? For my listening, uh, I try to see series oh. in English, completely English, with ca cool. post caption in English. Yes. For to make a, a to connect, you know, like to like to make the yes. connection. Is it working for you? Do you yes. feel that your listening has improved? Yes. Oh, yes. nice. What is the the thing that is the most difficult at the moment for you talking about English? Um to pass the the moment you have you want to translate your idea in, in Spanish, Spanish to, to the English and I have to a little uh, mind blank when mm. I have to start on a conversation mm. in English. So that's that, that is difficult. translation. Yes. Okay. So that, that I have the how do you say the the ship? Yeah. The, it is I, I know I, I get it <laughs> okay so you you okay so at the moment when you try to give your opinion you always think in Spanish what you want to say yes mm, okay 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 that's a very interesting point <laughs> yes okay uh, hagamos algo. let's do something let me see I'm going to steal like one more two more minutes okay vamos a hacer un, a, a little bit of um Vamos a hacer un poquito de pushing with the vocabulary here. And uh, hagamos lo siguiente. Because es bien común, you know, it's super common that we normally think in Spanish porque es nuestro zona de confort. That's our comfort zone. Claro, la idea es hacer como el cambio. Because I have to be super honest. Um, creo que de tanto hablarlo, de tanto practicarlo, yo ya no lo pienso en español. Ya se va automático. Pero... Cuando tengo lagunas mentales y empiezo a traducirlo, cometo muchos errores porque empiezo a traducirlo because I'm translating y me tomo más tiempo. Entonces hagamos un ejercicio. Let's do a little bit of exercise. So, eh, voy a tomarle 30 segundos. I'm going to take 30 seconds. Ok. And eh, cuénteme de usted. Tell me as much information as you can about you. Pero lo más rápido que pueda, the fastest you can, you know. Eso no lo piense tanto, si está bien, si está mal, don't think about it. Eh, solo cuénteme lo más rápido, the fastest you can. Ready? 30 segundos. Ok. Bye. One, okay. two, three, go. Um, well, I'm an architect. I'm studied for 10 years in the University of Salvador. I have a current... Um, job in my area my okay. area to design stories okay. i have three two two siblings a brother and a sister uh, i have a pet my mom and i live with my mom and my dad and uh, my best friend have a Hello. child and Hello. we we Hello. spend a, a lot of time together okay and stop now. it there stop it there lo pensó en español no <laughs> there you go. There you go. Nice. Empezó a salir automáticamente, right? Yes. There you go. So you, it means que su cerebro ya está listo. It's ready to think in English. But ¿en qué momento lo piensa en español? When I have to start the when you give me the the question. Like when you have to give an opinion. Mm, yes. Okay. 
o cuando empieza a narrar algo, when you start like telling stories or something like that, or telling about events? It's more, it's more like, like my own opinion of something, something and, and a precise um, tema. A topic, uh -huh. okay. Okay, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see, okay. But si, si logramos decir la primera parte, if we were able to get personal information sin pensarlo en español y con presión de tiempo y con presión de hacerlo rápido, significa que su cerebro ya lo entiende y you know, ya está listo. Solo necesitamos presionarle un poquito y hacer exactamente lo mismo que acaba de hacer. Irse como, you know, así, automático, you know, without thinking much. But that was very nice. That was a very good one. Okay, miss, le voy a dejar una actividad. I'm going to give you one activity then. Eh, let me think, let me think. Um, ¿Qué podemos hacer to avoid thinking in Spanish? Okay, le voy a pedir, miss, le voy a enseñar acá. Le voy a pedir que hagamos lo mismo, you know, pero... Vamos a grabarlo. We are going to record it. 30 segundos, no más de 30 segundos, you know, porque es el tiempo que, eh, que vamos a empezar a presionar y luego vamos a empezar a subirle un poquito más, right? Eh, para evitar pensar much. So 30 seconds. Vamos a dar opiniones. 30 seconds about my ideal house. Lo más rápido que pueda, no lo escriba, you know, porque ya usted tiene el vocabulario, solo es de presionar un poquito y de decirle a nuestro cerebro, right? No penses en español, no traduzcas, no penses en español. <risa> so, vamos a comenzar con dos audios, uno de 30 segundos, My Ideal House. Eh, no es para ahorita, you know, so puede ser mañana, puede ser domingo, cuando tenga tiempo libre, it's okay. Y vamos a hacer okay. otro de 30 seconds. 30 seconds audio, My Daily Routine. 30 segundos, toda la información que pueda, lo más rápido que pueda, sin detenerse much, all right? Y sobre todo, evitando pensar en español. Si llega a pensar una palabra en español, you know, deténgalo y vuelva a hacer. And do it again, porque la idea es eso, you know. Decirle a nuestro cerebro, no pensas, ok? <ríe> so, uh, uh, intentamos con 30 segundos. Si nos funciona, le vamos a subir a un minuto, 45 segundos, un poquito más, un poquito más. Y luego ya comenzamos con opiniones o con preguntas eh, para irnos acostumbrando. You know? But super nice. That sounds really good. All right. Thank so, you. cuando tenga tiempo libre, me lo envía y con gusto yo lo escucho. You know, we check it. Y, y me dice también cómo le fue con eso. All right. Ok. Ok. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. And uh, nos vemos el día lunes. I'll be seeing you Monday. Me los envía cuando pueda, please. Send it to, uh, send it to me. Bye-bye, Angelica. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye.